Okay, so for the style question, we are given the equation and then asked to find all the stuff and graph it. So um, with parabolas, we have four choices. They can be leading in x squared or y squared, and then the right-hand side can either be positive or negative. So this one is a y squared positive, which means looking at our four choices down here, y squared positive opens to the right. And this actually does make sense. So x squared opens up just like it always did, and minus x squared opens down just as it always did. And now we're adding y squareds. So y squared positive opens right, y squared negative opens left or in the negative direction. So um, we know that this right here and this are of the same form. So let me grab my whiteboard so I can break that down. So we have y squared equals 12 and x minus 3. So looking at that form, um, k is 0. So our vertex is hk in this case. So we know that our vertex is going to be the y coordinate is 0 and the x coordinate here at the x. And again, careful not to write it down 0 the other way because of the order it's written in. Um, and then this is minus 3, so remember these show backwards, so it's going to be positive 3 is what we would have to put in for that h for it to show as x minus 3. So now we have a vertex, and then the other really important thing, once you have the vertex, the only other thing you actually need is a. And a is the distance from the uh, vertex to the focus or the vertex to the directrix. In other words, to the focus and then to the directrix going this way in this case. Um, and in terms of the formula, the key thing, the number in front of the parentheses on this side, that's where you're going to find A. So for this one, 4A is this 12 right here. So dividing that over, A equals 3. And if this had been negative, don't worry about it being negative 3 or positive 3, whatever. We know which way the um, vertex is going to be because this thing is opening to the right. And so the, the vertex is going to be to the right of that. If it was a negative one, we would know it's opening to the left. So don't worry about the sign so much because you know which way things are going to go over here. Um, so then to find the rest of it, I would draw it and read it off the graph because I think graphing these is way more helpful. So let's see. We know the vertex is there and we know A is 3. So we're going to have this one and the vertex is at X is 3, Y is 0. And then I think, how does this, yep, okay. So then we know that A is 3 right here. So we're going to count out 1, 2, 3. And then the other thing that we know is the distance from the focus to the graph is 2A in either direction. So here, if A is 3, then that distance would have to be 6 or twice as far. So we're starting from here and we're counting out 3. So that's where our focus is. And again, up to the top of the parabola or down to the bottom will be twice that distance or six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And there I am up at six. And then that's my graph. So once I have this as kind of my visual helper for figuring out the focus, now I can see if I count three forward right here from the vertex, because remember A is three. So that puts my focus at six, zero. And then the directrix, that's going to be back here, because um, if the focus is 3 forward, then the directrix, in this case, would be 3 behind. So it's this line running up and down. And then, so you got to remember, horizontal lines are y equals, vertical lines are x equals. And this one is like kind of the tricky one, because it's x equals 0. So the y-axis is actually x equals 0. This means no matter where I am on this line, x is 0. Um, probably easier to see if it had just come out to be like x equals negative 4, and then that would have been a little cleaner for this first example. But for this one, it's x equals 0 right there. And um, the thing that people often do is notice here you have to type the equation x equals 0. You can't just write 0 because it could also be y equals 0. It's not an equation unless you type the which variable you're referring to. Um, so that's the basics of that. Hopefully that helps.